So it's a new year, spring is most definitely in the air, and what a way to start it. Welcome to Tom's Viral Thought. Welcome to the fourth instalment of Tom's Viral Video Diaries. My name's Tom Foreman and I'm in a lucky position here at Nash where I get to see a lot of the day-to-day -day runnings of the company, a lot of the behind the scenes stuff that you guys don't usually get to see, until now that is. If you haven't seen any of the previous episodes, first of all, where have you been? Secondly, there's no need to panic, it's not too late. They're all over on our Nash TV YouTube channel, so you can go check them out now. And whilst you're there, you may as well subscribe to the channel so you never miss another episode again. In this episode, I'm at Farlow's Lake with Ota the D, Ollie Davies. I'll visit the Carp Shack in Reading and my good mate Simon Stobie for the Nash Open Day. Plus, we've got some exclusive footage from Gary Bay's 60 minute charity makeover back in December, which is absolutely brilliant. Let's check it out. So, I'm here at Farlow's today. I've come to meet up with Ollie, who's fishing just down the bank. Our aim being to do a bit of product photography for some of the up and coming bits that are being released over the coming months. Obviously it was only fair we stuck a couple of rods out at the same time. The bailiffs informed us that the fish are responding to a bit of bait at the moment. Between us we managed to put a mix together, mainly consisting of the bug life ground bait mix, which we're actually here to photograph. Uh, a bit of pellet and a bit of boilie, all that we had with us basically. Get that crackling. First block, out to the deck. Yeah. They believe Holly is in again. Second one on the tangerine drain. Beautiful car. Some of you may remember back at the tail end of last year, the legend that is Gary Bays took part in a 60 minute charity makeover. First of all, I want to send a massive shout out and a massive thank you to everyone who made the night possible and even more so for all you guys who donated via the Facebook page and everything. Gary raised over £2,700 for Little Haven's Children's Hospital, which is just incredible. Not only was the night an absolute success uh, and a right laugh, we managed to film the entire thing and here it is for you guys. Check this out, it is absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Well, I've been mugged again. I've been told to look scruffy, so I've let my hair grow, have my beard done. Like, I haven't cleaned my hands for a couple of days. I've been making bait at shows, uh, all in aid of Little Havens. So then the, um, up, to, up the bar a little bit, and I'm having a spray tan, I'm having my feet done, <laughs> and everything. All for a good cause, though, mate. It's all good for a really good cause. You know, like, better, better treatment and good treatment for, like, end of life. Family little children, you know, who would who would not want to give me give me money for that. Yeah, good work, Al, good work. Yeah. Well anyway, we're at Addison's this guy and get started. Six yeah. minute mate. <laughs> Could be here all night. <laughs> <Come> <laughs>
Well, it started, had my hair started being cut, my beard started being cut, my toes and feet are done lovely, and now it's my hands turn. I'm going to be a new man, <laughs> so they tell me. <laughs> These dark fusion camo leaders. Can you smell nice? The almond of the hand wash hasn't quite taken over the coconut of the pop ups I was making earlier. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I woke up this morning and wished I'd stayed in bloody bed. <laughs> now I've had a wonderful time. Everybody supported me really well. Got a good crowd watching. This man here has cut my hair better than I've ever had it cut before. Today. Because the missus usually does it. Oh. And this lady has really pampered me. Uh, I've got a spur room. <laughs> I'm married. And, and I've, had a, I've had a good time. And hopefully we've raise lots of money for a really good cause and don't stop giving just keep giving some more well done, guys. <laughs>
Peep in top. Peep in top. <laughs> Here's the problem with later kit carp fishing. That's all right, mate. It's not in my swim or nothing. That's the problem with uh, when people see you catch a few fish. Unfortunately, what do you do? So we haven't managed any more fish unfortunately. The session's come to an end. The weekend anglers are starting to show up. The lake's getting a little busy. And uh, I've got to head back to Essex anyway, back to Nash HQ. And then I'm up early tomorrow and over to the carp shack in Reading for the Nash Open Day. So I will see you there. Big Al. How you doing Tom, alright? Yeah man. Here we are, we're at the Carp Shack in Woodley Reading today for a Nash Tackle Open Day. It's calmed down a bit, so while we've got five minutes, a bit of peace and quiet, we'll pop in and see what's going on. Take me inside. Come on. What you say, the main factors are... How you doing, Mikey? What's going on? What you got there? Got a new ball maker, 30 mil ball maker. It's got a nice new slot in the side which allows you to do a special little trick like this. Take the ball maker, fill it halfway up, pop your rig in, fill the rest up, take the top, push it together, pop the bottom, pop the top, that's a bite, bite in a ball, bite in a ball. Spot on liquid, it's got even more in four colours. So, here's a nice little bit to leave you on for this instalment. Uh, back in September, myself and Alan travelled down to Kent for the day for a junior fishing, which was actually organised by one of our reps and good friends, Kev Mardell. Basically, Kev's son, Tom, and a few of his school friends have really got into their fishing over the last couple of years. So Kev thought it would be a good idea for me and Alan to head down there, uh, take the lads out fishing for the day and pass on a bit of knowledge and maybe teach them a thing or two. I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to leave you with it for this episode. And I'll be seeing you guys for more Tom's Viral very soon. See you later. You got one then fella? Yeah. Good lads. Hi, my name's Toby. We're at Harsh Lake Farm. We've just got this nice little mirror down in the margin, float, with four maggots on it. Good lad. He's a natural. Yeah, he's a natural, isn't he? He knows it. <laughs> Good lad. Right, so you've got one on, he's got two on. What's happened, mate? Uh, well, I had, I've, put, I've put bait down there and Tom put So you've bait. come right in the edge then? Yeah, right and in the Tom edge, put yeah. a bit of uh, bait for me down in the right hand margin. So I thought, if, if there, I've already had one down there. Good lad. And then if there's another fish down there, then I'll put the other one out down there, put a couple of boilies over the top of it. It's and gone straight both, away. And they both went off exactly the same time. It's chunk this one. Is it? <laughs> yep. 
Good lad. Right, get, grab your other rod off Tom then and get yourself your double hook up. Yeah, Tom. Right, Tom. Yeah, Tom. Yeah, Lynn, it's another pretty one though. Linear. Big Lynn. Still big Lynn. Yeah, let's have a look up. She's out of the way. Keep the bait going in, boys. Getting through some bait. I think that's nearly ready, mate. Let's get the net under that, eh? Look at this one here, look. Be <laughs> careful you don't net that one. Yeah, I was going to say, I'll probably get another one while I'm at it. It's time to go. Go on, go on, go on, go on. He's got it. Oh, I just, oh, you me swimming away, <laughs> Sorry, mate. It took me three hours. <laughs> <laughs> the cat thinks he's pond dipping. Come on. Big smiles. Smiles, boys. Enjoying it? Yeah. yeah. Good lads.